Good morning, people of the grid. It's Wednesday, June the 7th, bright and early, heading off to school with Ethan and Amelia. It's another beautiful day in paradise. Oh, yeah. Guys, huge advancements in hamster technology. Amelia, what are they able to do? We both run at the same time on the wheel. Two hamsters in one running wheel. Yeah. I know we didn't think it was possible, but they figured it out. How did you train the little guys to do that, Amy? Well, you had to like put them in and then like sort of like nudge it, like nudge the wheel so it spun a little. So See, my, my strategy, oh, it's really bright. My strategy would have been to duct tape them inside the wheel and spin it so they kind of get an idea of what's going on and then you take the duct tape off and let them try. Oh, well, no, that's what she did minus the duct tape. the duct tape. And then what? They don't need the, you know what, they're so soft. They're like little tiny cotton balls with legs and eyes and mouth. They're so soft. Crazy little things. You like them still, Sam? Yeah. Better. <laughs> We're stuck with them now. Good afternoon, people of the grid. It is the middle of my lunch hour, and I've got a quick meeting I gotta run out to, so I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll be back home. Wanted to tell you, before I left, we, uh, remember we have our vacuum flow system that's not working? Well, we got a new one. It's ready to be installed, but that meant the old one had to be removed. I have just taken care of that, so it took me all of uh, 10 minutes, got the old one disconnected from the pipes and dismounted off the wall and out of the house. We are now ready to install the new one, so if all goes well, that might happen later today. I'll need uh, probably Tammy's help and Ethan's help, but we should be back in the vacuuming business in no time. It is so nice out here. Blue skies, nice and warm, just the way a summer should be. No. All right, Team Mike and Tammy, we're gonna take this vacuum. We're gonna mount it up there. These are the old pipes. It's two pipes, one that comes in from the house where the bad stuff comes in. The other one is the outflow, the muffler, which in our case goes to the outside world. So. That's where we're gonna put it. That's where the old one was. Wish us luck. Yeah, you're gonna use it? You're so excited you'll use it? Are you so you're, you're breaking up, what? Yeah. Come on, baby, bite. Bite, bite, bite. Yeah, that's it. Now, the hanging, it's the easy part. The making these things fit, that's the hard part. Right. And I just, this actually, see, was taped on the old one, so. Really? Yeah. Couldn't you just but, get a. But I think what I need to do is cut it, put a new elbow on, just so it. Why? I guess it could be taped. It's just blowing air out. Whatever works that makes it better. So this one's going to go like right here. right here and then we put that glue in so that's the exhaust one which because if I go from here and just shoot it up to here then I only need the two and the one goes there and this can kind of stay floating out here that will work Get that glue stuff like a glove. And I need a you know what we can make with this a potato cannon. Uh oh. Forget this project. Let's go make a potato cannon. <laughs> I want a vacuum. You guys can make the potato cannon once that's been finished. Exactly. I just need to mark that 
pipe. Move my safety ladder. Safety first. It's my cooler. these things together that's why you can't reuse the old joints you getting this I am you getting this mansplaining stuff yeah I'm getting the mansplaining you're just up by a light it's like oh yep so this stuff is uh, plastic a special kind of plastic and there's this glue it's a chemical glue that bonds the surfaces together so once it's together it does not come apart so I'm gonna bond the ones to the pipes but not to this because you may have to change this so to this, we're just going to tape. There's, it's like an electrician's tape, but uh, it's made for this stuff. Oh, we just got to power up the, the heads outside. So let's put it down in. That's better. So we got enough of a compression fit that you could, uh, we could run a test. And see how it goes. A test. That means I could vacuum. Or as we call it in the business, a test. Don't make me mansplain another thing to you. Now this, I don't know. He said it should plug in just like. Well, no, one. I know, but is it, is there a polarity that matters? I'm gonna guess no because it's either <laughs> plug. Just <laughs> you. All right, now there could be a. Oh, we have green light and a green blink. Oh, green solid light. The green solid sounds good. Where is it? It's over here. Look at that. Oh, it has a little control panel. So that's the light that go the wire that goes out to all of the heads, and that's the light I think that says we're good. Yeah, green light. Power cord is just being connected. If in doubt, read the manual. System operational. Solid green light. Yeah. So we're ready to go. Wow. Yeah. I, I have installed a vacuum flow system. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with myself. <laughs> I've never done this before. So we're all set up. Suction test. It works. There you go. I'm here all week. Don't forget to kiss your contractor. Well, end of day has arrived, which is awesome. Uh, Tammy and the kids went shopping. The Model X, Cora, still has a leak in that back tire, so uh, I gave Cal Tire a call and they said, bring it in, they'll take care of it. Uh, vacuum's working great. Tammy gave it a two thumbs up, which is awesome. I have hot chocolate here and popcorn. So, hot chocolate. Amelia's doing the chubby bunny challenge for some reason. Why? What, what does this mean? Say it. I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? I heard a oh. Is this what they teach you kids at school now? Yeah, pretty much. Chubby bunny, okay, I got it there. Wow. How many marshmallows do you have in your mouth? One right now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you can talk now. Uh, she bought a bag of marshmallows instead of a chocolate bar because they were the same price. Yeah, that's what she wanted. She'll never want marshmallows again. I want all the marshmallows. So Mike took my car back to um, Cal Tire because my leak came back. Don't know what happened. And uh, actually, it, I, I don't think it held at all because it's been leaking for a while. But um, we have the light runner. You say you want us to keep our vegetables. So we gotta hurry home because Ethan has to make like a hundred popsicles. Don't know what he was thinking. Just oh, we and he left it till the last minute. It's called procrastination. It's a thing that we are pretty good at. 
Procrastination doesn't work when there is like a timeline which can't be shrunk. So the popsicles will take this long to freeze. You cannot change that. 12, 116, 100 Well, good luck with that. We better get home so we can start making popsicles. Sammy Pepper, how's your day? Good. Wee baby Lisa, how are you? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You hungry? Yep. Me too. Oh. How about you, Ethan? What Hello. you doing? Homework. Homework? Yep. All right, this is the second time we're using our barbecue this year. You started it yesterday and it started up right away, yeah, first time. Today too, yeah. It's a Weber. I love Weber barbecues. That's yeah, awesome. It is awesome. So I'm gonna make supper. Oh yeah, supper's ready. Well, we had a really nice dinner together. I love that. We do that almost every night when I'm home. We all have dinner together. Very important for us to do that as a family. We get to chat, talk to each other about our day, and just reconnect. Awesome. I just got to run out and do a couple of things. I got two pit stops and then I'm back home. I looked at my calendar for tomorrow. I checked in. I've got a flight in the morning and I mean, I know what I was thinking, but I don't know what I was thinking. My flight tomorrow is at 6.05 a.m. That means I got to board the plane at 5.35 a.m. Now I got to clear security before I board the plane, which means I have to get to the airport. Oh, at about just before five o'clock, like 10 to five, quarter to five would be optimal. That's gonna be really early in the morning because to get to the airport at five, what am I saying? Oh, at 10 to five, I need to leave the house at, oh my gosh, 4.30. Of course, I gotta get up and get ready. So I should be waking up at four. That puts me into Winnipeg at 8 a.m. and I got a full day of work then. So that's gonna be good. Getting there is gonna be a real pain. So tomorrow's gonna be a super, super long day and it's gonna be super, super early. Fun times. Then how's your school project going? What do you got? Uh, we got the mango popsicles um, down there. And what are you doing with those guys? We're selling them at school because we're oh, doing- Oh, this that. is the investment I made in your company. Huh, right. Oh well, yeah, I'm looking for like 2x return. Whoa, no. <laughs> no, 1.5? Uh. Maybe. Yeah. One and a half percent, like. How many, how many popsicles? Times return. How many popsicles you gotta make? Of his investment. How many, uh, how many popsicles you making? Well, that there is 64. That will be 64 when I'm done. Now you're gonna put that batch in the freezer and do one more before you go to bed? At least one more, yeah. At least one more? We could wake you up. Actually, I'm waking up at uh, 4 a.m. Do you want me Got to wake it. you up then? Yes, that'd be good, because then I could at least make one more batch before. How long do they take to get frozen? They take like three hours. Do you want I... me to wake you up at four? Yeah, sure. You should sleep on the couch up here then. Sure. All right, deal. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys, because it is right now uh, 1025. I got to get stuff ready so that I can get up and get going to the airport. I got to be at the airport at uh, five o'clock. Wow. So you have yeah. an hour to get ready. And so leave I'm getting, well, through. getting up at four, get my stuff ready, leave here by 430. I only have a half hour to get ready because it takes mm -hmm. a half hour to get to the airport. So with that, Micah and Ethan, we are out.